televisions to cameras to phones, even iPhones, all that tech you've got to have right now could be obsolete in a few years or less. Tonight, Fox Chicago's Corey Chambers chats with the experts to find out which gadgets are a good buy now and which ones you'll want to avoid. We all want to have the latest and greatest, but technology changes in an instant. This is the Samsung 3D Blu-ray C6900. What's cutting edge one minute? Video is as easy as this with the HR7100 video recorder from JVC. Can look pretty archaic the next. So how do you keep from wasting money in a world where you're constantly told to buy, buy, buy? We decided to bring in some experts. It's exciting, it's fun, it's shiny, but it sits on my dresser. That's a bad buy. Frank Gruber and Jen Consalvo are behind TechCocktail.com a technology blog that started here in Chicago and now includes reports from around the world. My question for them was simple. What's a good buy now and what should you wait on? First up, those pricey new 3D TVs. I say no, wait. I think there's more exciting things coming down the road. Yeah. I'd say hold off as well. Right now, the, the ones that are out there, you do have to put on the glasses that you know have a battery and have this whole other thing you have to deal with. So I'd, I'd wait. <laughs> 3D TV isn't the only product you might want to hold off on adding to your media center. The Tech Cocktail team says those fancy Blu-ray players are also ticking towards becoming obsolete. Yeah, I watch movies on the web. Like you can stream them from you know uh, either Amazon or Netflix right to your uh, device. I'd say if you're going to buy something like that, I'd look at the Google TV or the, the Apple TV first, or maybe even a Roku. I look for something that's going to kind of have a little bit more shelf life. Standalone GPS units, basic MP3 players, digital cameras, all products that have been marginalized to some degree by the smartphone. The quality of the cameras in your phone now is increasing so fast and the, the, it's just so high that it can a lot of times compete with what you can buy as a standalone camera. So think about your use case. I'd say for longer trips and new, new locations, that navigation system is clutch. Um, but you can, I mean, you can get by now with your phone. You can't, you know, it's not a necessity anymore. Uh, and obviously that probably has Garmin and some of these other folks a little bit concerned. When we say technology is changing rapidly, it isn't just the products that keep us entertained, it's also the appliances that make everyday life easier. So should tech advances here dictate when you buy? The experts say no. If you need a fridge, go get the fridge. You know, don't wait for the technology. <laughs> get the fridge, and ultimately it'll uh, it'll all catch up. And if you're in the right cycle, you know, eventually you'll get the, the fridge that lets you connect with your Facebook friends and tell you what they're serving or whatever. You know. After hearing all that, you might be wondering about those buyback programs where you pay some extra money up front, and a store will guarantee you a certain amount of cash back when you decide to upgrade. Well, experts say it's not really a good deal for you, and you should focus on shopping smart initially. Corey Chambers. Fox Chicago.